The mood at the mausoleum grounds was one pregnant with expectation. Jubilation, song and dance, the beginning of another round of rallies in South and Sudan's Juba ahead of the historic referendum vote. Leaders, including a Kenyan delegation of MPs, joining thousands of area residents in what has continued to be the region's civic education and lobbying avenue. Your voice will be heard loud and clear on the 9th, and your voice will be respected by a community of nations. And between now and on the 9th, please make sure you register so that you can express your voice through the ballot. And with less than 60 days to go to the referendum of independence, concerns over the challenges ahead of the big day. We are asking, we the civil society of Southern Sudan, we are asking our parliament, if by minute is missed, then there is going to be a unilateral declaration of the independence of Southern Sudan. As it's the a demands of the people of Southern Sudan. It's the demand of the civil society of Southern Sudan because the right to vote is in the hand of an individual, not, not in the hands of, of the party, not in the hand of uh, politicians. It is in the hand of the civil society to vote. We are all over the 10 states. Though we don't have any support, we are moving from door to door, trying to make sure that our people understand the, the right to have their own future. Up to 10 simultaneous rallies continued across the southern frontier Tuesday as the Youth Forum for the Referendum insisted that despite the challenges, the process will continue as scheduled. It is an excitement that cannot be simmered for a people highly anticipated to vote for an independent state, a condition that will need a 51% majority if this dream is to become a reality. Evelyn Wambui, Citizen TV, Juba, Southern Sudan.